Uh, you were born in East London, both your parents were from Africa. Yeah. How did you get into football? Uh, when I was 10, my dad took me to a community service, West Ham Community Service. So from there, you know, they had like little scouts here and there, but it was only for Sunday League. So I went there and I got started and I played for a team called uh, Junior Hammers for, for like four years. Then after that, um, I moved on to uh, Senrab FC. Quite a famous, you know, Sunday League team. So from there, I was yeah, there just so for, Senrab, um, as you say, very famous because I mean John Sunday Terry, Fall. Sol Campbell. Yeah. I think Terry Herlock, which a name that will mean a lot to older uh, older Brentford fans. Yeah. Uh, so was that was that quite a big step to go to Senrab? Yeah, it was a big step. You know, they're, actually right now there are actually a lot of, a lot of players that went from Senrab to you know professional clubs from my age as well. So you know it's a big club and they produce. Yeah, and then Charlton. Tell us a long time you were at Charlton. Yeah, I was there for nine years. It was very good. Charlton was my home for nine years, so you know it was difficult for me to leave and say goodbye to everyone. But you know I'll have to move forward and you know focus on my career. Seen so, it suggested that you actually were a Spurs supporter at one point. Is that true? Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. we're we're a very forgiving lot here at Brentford. Yeah. Um, you changed position, I think, a number of times while you're at Charlton. Tell us about that. Yeah. I've played right back, centre half, midfield, and I've come on left wing and in a ten row. So I've played quite a lot of positions for Charlton. Yeah. And are you settled now, do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. Good. Um, now, during your time at Charlton, you saw Joe Gomez went on to Liverpool, uh, Lookman went on to Everton. These were your contemporaries, I think. Yeah. What, what, what kind of thoughts did you have about that? Were you thinking, well, me too, or, or, or what? Yeah, of course, obviously seeing them going on to bigger and better things, going to the Prem, obviously thought in my head that I could do it as well. You know, Charlton is a club known for producing young academy players and moving them on, so I always thought that I could, I could have that opportunity as well. But of course, we always talk about uh, players choosing clubs, but of course the clubs, the clubs choose you and they have to do a deal with the club that you're playing for in order to get you. So did, did, were you close to leaving, do you think, at any point, or was it that people couldn't agree a deal with Charlton? Um... I wouldn't say I was close to leaving at any point. I just think that that's, uh, no one could get a deal done with Charlton, so yeah. I just had to stay. So is it something of a relief in some ways to actually get a deal done and get and get playing in a higher division? Yeah, 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 of course. I've always wanted to play higher, you know. Obviously, I've been in League One for two seasons, so for me to come to Championship, I've never played in the Champ. I've already been on the bench in the Champ, so for me to come in, you know, it's a big step for me. Now, of course, the other big step was uh, England under 20, and there's a wonderful Instagram where you kind of put, post the squad name and all your, fa- all your friends, you know, rightly you know, proud on your behalf. Uh, of course, but actually you didn't really get on to the most important pitch was the semi-final uh, in, in South Korea. Tell us what that was like when they said, you're on. <laughs> I mean, I don't think words can describe the way I felt there at that moment of time. It was just, uh, I don't know, I actually can't describe it. You know, to get my debut in the World Cup against Italy, it was a big thing for me. And from my, from, my, from my family watching at home. Yeah, and there's a wonderful picture of you with the other guys with the shirts turned around with the names on yeah. and your medals hanging around. What, what's happened to that medal? Oh, it's just at home. My dad's got it. Your dad's got it? Yeah, yeah. My dad wanted to keep it, so you know, I let him keep it. That's nice, that's nice. So, um, what's, uh, what's, the, what's the thing you want to get out of this season most, do you think, here at Brentford? To develop as a player, improve, learn, and obviously get promotion. Now, looking back over your life, I mean, there's an interview you gave one at Charlton, had an interesting line. He said, the area where I was growing up, there was a lot of crimes and gangs, but I wouldn't like to say I would have got caught up in anything if it wasn't for football. That, that's a phrase we've heard from other people. So kind of tell us about that journey then from, from where you live to where you are now. Uh, growing up in my area, there was a lot of stabbings, shootings. And obviously, most, most of them really close to my mum's house. So, you know, growing up, it, it was scary, you know going to school, coming home, knowing that, you know, something can happen to you. But, um, you know, I, had, I have an older brother, he was always there to protect me. So I think if it wasn't for him, um, my mum and dad looking out for me, you know, I wouldn't be in this position right now. Wow, that's quite something. I think you use the word blessed quite a lot, is yeah. it? I've got tell- a title called I'm blessed as well. Yeah, tell us what so, that means to you. I just feel like I'm, I'm blessed, you know, to be in the situation that I am right now. You know, and obviously growing up, nothing's happened to me or my family, so... I just feel like I've been blessed with a lot of things. 